Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So, what's up, guys? <laughs> today we're going to do our um, first pregnancy update with baby number three. So, um, today is Saturday, and what is it like June 28, 29, June 29th, yeah. I think. And on Monday, I will be seven weeks. So, mm -hmm. I'm almost seven weeks now. So, we're just going to kind of update up until now. So, um, like the first, so we found out when I, two Saturdays ago, so two weeks ago, so I was almost five weeks when we found out. And the first symptoms, um, obviously I missed my period. And, um, missed it. But that, that wasn't abnormal just because they weren't exactly regular yet because I am still breastfeeding gently. Thought we were being careful. <laughs> He's here for comedic relief. But, um, exactly. So, um, anyways i would wake up in the morning that that week and um i would feel nauseous Sick. but i'm kind of like i easily get nauseated anyway so that easily. wasn't really <laughs> stop it. so that wasn't really like <laughs> abnormal for me um but i started having like food aversion so pretty much every morning <laughs> Pretty much every morning for breakfast, I would eat, um, oh, someone, okay, um, I would eat, uh, like, scrambled egg whites or eggs over easy <laughs> with, like, salsa and, um, avocado or avocado toast, and I would eat that pretty much every morning, and I never got sick of it, but I woke up during that week, and I, the thought of eggs made me want to throw up, like, thinking about making that, so I would either just, like, not eat breakfast, or I'd have to eat something really, like, small, like, I'd eat fruit or something until I would feel a little bit better later on in the day, and Friday of that week, so we tested on Saturday, that Friday I texted him, we did oh, not pass that test. Yeah. By the way. Oh, let me go back a little bit. Also, that week, I had very frequent urination. You can ask him. He peed even, like, she peed like six times during the night. No, more than that. He Probably even more. started asking me, like, didn't you just go pee like five minutes ago? I was like, I don't know what's going on. I, I told her seriously. She was pregnant. No, he didn't. He did not believe me that I thought I was pregnant. So I would seriously get up in like an hour period and go pee like four times. Like it was crazy. And um, so Friday morning I woke up and I was feeling very, very nauseous. And I texted him and I was like, I think that I might be pregnant. I'm scared. And he was like, no, I don't think so. Like nah. I'm always paranoid about that kind of not thing. Happening. So um, I was careful. <laughs> so... Anyways, yeah, Saturday we did the test, and yes, um, it was positive, it as was you saw. Positive. We'll link our um, video that shows our live pregnancy test. But um, So those were the first symptoms, and then going from that, I've uh, still had the frequent urination. Not as bad as it was that like first week, though. And then um, nausea, but it is. it seems to be getting a little bit. This morning was actually probably one of the worst, though, but... Um, I was nauseous with both Blakely and Bentley, but Bentley was really bad. That's why I really thought Bentley was a girl because they always say with girls, you're more nauseous, you know, like the old wives tale. I think I would have been nauseous with him my entire pregnancy and my doctor had to give me medicine and every time I would stop it and think like, okay, I'm fine now, I would get nauseous again. again. And I didn't throw up a lot with them, maybe a handful of times with both of them, but nausea Thanks. just and this time it seems to not be as bad like i'll wake up eat a little something and then um by you know like after i eat that usually i'm feeling a lot better so um hopefully it won't be that bad this time <laughs> Stop. and then um the food aversion still uh egg the first time i ate eggs actually was this morning and they, those were good he made me an omelet but um I've My been having, good. yeah, some, like, before, okay, so ever since I got pregnant, before I got pregnant with Bentley, I wasn't a big sweets eater, but during that pregnancy, and then after him, like, <laughs> since I've been breastfeeding, that part out, anyways, <laughs> no, um, I was a big, uh, sweets eater, and then while breastfeeding, you know, you can have, like, the breastfeeding cravings, I wanted sweet things, I mean, not, like, all the time, but, you know, every once in a while, <laughs> 
he's not going to be in the next video. <laughs> and um, they love me though. As soon as I, I guess, got pregnant this time, I haven't really been wanting sweet stuff. Um, not that much. Last night I didn't want cheesecake, but uh, she's besides been that, frozen I have ice. No, like pelicans. Meat, they well, don't know what pelicans. Uh, snow cones yeah but i haven't gotten that yet but anyways um i've been crate not craving but i've been wanting spicy stuff and i usually am not a spicy food eater like this morning he made me an omelet and i put hot sauce on it <laughs> and then um i've been like putting hot so sauce on stuff or just like wanting spicy stuff and i'm usually not a spicy food eater um but i will say if you believe in the whole wives tale things, I know that they say with girls you want sweet stuff. That was opposite for me. I wanted sweet stuff with Bentley. With Blakely, I never really wanted sweet stuff. I craved spicy food with her. I remember I had like a bag of hot Cheetos that I would eat at night. Um, and then I liked hot sauce when I was pregnant with her. Um, but with Bentley, I did like sweet stuff. So I don't know, we are leaning towards girl this time. Oh, so, and then that and points to that. She has done this ring spinny thingy. Yeah. I'm, I'm surprised she doesn't have like I a bald spot same. right here. Because <laughs> we don't have flaws. So she keeps I on get playing. the same results every single time. And it says this is a girl. So I don't and know. And she even does it and over my belly. Like I'm pregnant. Not your belly. And then I did it, um, the wrist one, if you've seen that on Facebook, like last year around this time, I think it was last year. It was very popular and a lot of people were doing it. I didn't do it then. But I did it over my mom's hand, and it was exactly the children that she has. And then her friend, and so I don't know. I mean, I don't know Amazing. if it's true or not, but everybody I've done it over that already has kids, it's been correct, and it's been correct for my two that I have, and it says this one's a girl. So we'll find out in a couple of weeks. But um, anyways, what was I going to say? Anyways, so if this is a girl, um... My pregnancy with Blakely and this one has been very similar. Um, I was very tired with her. With Bentley, I, I was telling him, I don't remember being very tired. Like, do you remember being really tired? I get very tired this time around. But it could also be because Bentley still hasn't slept through the night. And um, I have two kids to take care of. But anyways, I was going to show a belly shot. I don't really have anything yet. Um, I still have a pooch from him. And um, she's still a cop though. And I've, I've never really showed anybody my stretch marks, so y'all are gonna see those. Um, and they're beauty marks. I got really bad stretch marks with Bentley. Beauty marks. And then, um, so before I got pregnant with Bentley, I weighed 102. And then after him, I've lost all but 10 pounds. I cannot lose those last 10 pounds, but she I've don't heard need to. I've heard also that could be because of breastfeeding, you hold on, your body holds on to the pounds. So, Guess I won't be losing those anytime soon, but uh, so I'm starting out at 112.4, but it fluctuates. I've been, I know you're not supposed to weigh yourself every day, but pretty much ever since I've had him, I weigh myself every day, pretty much. Um, Morning, and, night, afternoon. You keep interrupting. Sorry. And um, so I'm about 112.4, but it fluctuates about a pound. Like sometimes it's like 113, sometimes it's the lowest I've gotten is 111.2, I think. And, um, but it's steady about 112 to 112.4. So that's what I'm going to say I'm starting this pregnancy out as. And right now, I haven't gained anything. So, um, I'll show you guys my stomach. Oh, we should probably back up a little. Hey, go I'll move our fancy bench. So this is my stomach. Can see my stretch from oh the lighting is here. Can you close that curtain a little? All the way. No, that's good. This is my stomach starting out. Like I said, I still have a little pooch from him that I didn't ever lose, but um. Yeah, so uh, let us know if you want to see more pregnancy updates, and we'll do them every couple weeks or so, I guess, until, like, we get further along than maybe every week. But um, We are excited. We don't go to the doctor until uh, we go on a Thursday, and I'll turn 10 weeks that Monday, so we'll be almost 10 weeks when we go. And I'm going to see um, 
about the blood test if my insurance will cover that I'm not sure if you've done that uh, let me know if it was accurate for you um, if my insurance will cover it then I would like to do that and find out early but if not we'll go at 14 weeks to um, this place here that does it and then also <sighs> He's getting on my nerves, y'all. And then also, um, I was on Facebook last night, and you know how it shows you ads of things that um, you might be interested in, and this place called Sneak Peek popped up, and I was telling him about it, and it says they're 99.9 to 99% 99 accurate at nine weeks. You can do like a blood test and send it in. If you've done that, let me know below. Um, I don't think I would do it, because I'm just, nervous about doing that at home and like pricking myself but let me know if your results were accurate and maybe I'll consider it but um okay we'll talk to you guys later please comment um below subscribe subscribe like share um yeah we'll see you guys later bye see